Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 200 in Candy Crush Friend Saga. Woohoo, we made it to level 200. But we've got 26 moves to find in free 16 octopuses, and this is listed as a super hard level. So I think my excitement has died down now. All right, so I need to snap these um, stitches, and it's fairly easy in some spots because the board set that up for me so i didn't have to really think too much about it but now i've got a lot of extra work to do if i can collect a lot of purple then i can have otis help me by sending out stripes he was the recommended friend although i will consider other friends if i can't get this done right away with him let's just see how helpful he can be otis i don't mean to be you know like kind of disparaging you right away there but there's a lot of work that needs to be done so we need to figure out which friend will help us the most. I made that stripe strip combo because I'd like to get into the center section here. And that allowed me to set the yellow up together. And now I've got other opportunities as well. Uh, because I figure if I make moves in the central area, I can clear this out. Now there is another strategy I could try. Uh, and that is to work in the areas that are already fairly well open. Because that might give me an advantage in creating specials. So it's it's tough to decide which strategy might work best and then which friend could help us enact that strategy. There are so many permutations on a board like this. Okay, so do I have enough orange to make this worthwhile? Oftentimes I don't like to send out the fish, like if I'm collecting hearts or something like that. But in this case, it might be really beneficial because I've got enough orange and the orange would probably attack each one of these things. But I think I like the stripe better. Now, if you don't know how to read how the stripes will go, let me give you a quick tutorial on that. You read the page like you read a book from left to right uh, going through each row. And then you just count off horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical for every available color. And the available colors right now, or the available candies, I should say, are all of the purple except for this one. And I'm going to say, and I, I think so, if this is how it is on the original Candy Crush. I may be wrong because things may have changed a bit with this, but let's try it and see if it works. So if I pair this together and I start over here, this should go horizontally. And this should convert to vertical, which would be nice if it does. So horizontal, vertical, horizontal, that's good. Vertical, hmm. keep going till I get to the next purple, horizontal, vertical. Well, these are kind of a wash for me. Horizontal, vertical, not so good. Horizontal, that's better. And then I think we skip this one and go to vertical. So it's not the best layout with purple. What I could do is I could try to change things by adjusting where the purple is. I'm going to go ahead and try this now. We've set everything off a little bit different to how I originally called it out, but I think it's going to be helpful anyway. Look at this. Eight moves left for two guys. They're all the way over to here. I can't quite reach. I can do this. That's good. Now, how can I reach this one? Well, I can reach it remotely, and I think that's it. So there's that super hard level done, and hopefully, I'm hopeful that it was partly because of my ability to read the board and make the best choices possible, although I'm sure that luck always plays a part on these boards. I really hope that this information was helpful to you. If it was, I'd ask that you consider liking it and subscribing. That, of course, in turn helps me out. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. As always, thanks for watching, and congratulations on making it to level 200.